Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today I am going to do a more um, neutral themed pour. This is one I did a while ago for myself. I didn't date it on the back, but this is actually a nine, uh, 12 by 24 inch um, swipe. So I would have put the paint down in the middle and like dragged it out with something. Um, and I, I like it, but it's a little off centered. I probably can't even get it all on camera, but um, I'm going to try to do something, these same colors. I tried to do a swipe using a technique I saw Molly uh, from Molly's Artistry do with uh, putting the paint down and then swiping with her palette knife or in my case, a spatula. <sighs> This one I used a lot of that yellow and it just looks dumb, right? There's nothing going on here that I like. So I haven't poured over this yet, but it's definitely, uh, I don't I don't think that'll sell. So I'm gonna give another go today with uh, another 12 by 24 inch. Got big canvas here, probably won't even all show up on screen, but I'm gonna do a Dutch pour with browns, golds, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna mix up my paint now. What I need is another dark brown. I don't have those in squeezy bottles, so I am going to make just a little bit because whenever you Dutch pours, you don't need that much paint as your accent color. So I'm gonna try to make the smallest amount I can because I always end up with extra. Let's do like five ounces maybe a little more what's that six ounce six grams i say ounces i mean grams and um tear so like twice as much actually probably a little more well just one squirt puts 15 in so 16 when i stir it and then i'll add some water so you can see this the browns um clumpy Ooh might not look right. You gotta give them a really good stir. And I'm just gonna squirt a little two water in there and that'll help it uh, combine. This is more of a chocolatey brown burnt umber. I think I also have burnt raw umber to go. Um, Pre-made, ooh, why is it so clumpy? What's going on here? I think the lesson is if it's clumpy, just keep stirring. Or put it in a squeeze bottle and shake it up. I think it needs more water for one thing. I like my squishy cups. Squish. This is the raw umber from that other pour I did that I showed and didn't like. I'm gonna add a little more water so it seems a little thick. So I'm gonna test the consistency of all of these on an oh, this is like the a heavy paper that comes on the with the canvases. So let's do a little drip test. Um, just gonna do a dot, like try to get the same amount of paint on for each. That's like a really ugly brown, <laughs> no offense. You like that brown, I don't, I don't like that brown. Um, I can use less of it and then Of that that's that's a lot more but then I can also test oh see how the, it's not running this needs a way more water but these are almost the same it has bubbles in it so that's a good sign okay this needs more water that's a really good way to test it if you're doing Dutch pours without measuring or like I'm doing just making a small amount of paint because it's really hard to tell with this tiny little cup how it's running off the stick so I'm just gonna put a little more and just just watch it this time let's just see yeah that's a lot faster and this gold really should shimmer And also, is this my color palette that I like with a white background? 
Well, I'm actually going to test it first on a smaller canvas to see if I like how they go. And if I don't, then I will try something different. So, you know, uh, let's experiment. So you saw me mix up my white paint. The cup I started in was too small. <laughs> and so I moved it to a yogurt container. Always keep your containers. Uh, you never know <laughs> when you're gonna need one. Let's use this. Um, also, so this is my nine by 12 test. Let's see, I can also like decide if this had enough water seems thick. So let's add some more water to that. Exciting footage. Adding water to paint. Since I didn't, you know, my ratio is kind of in the same amount of water as, as paint and I didn't get there with this one. So I measured for it that 12 by 24 inch canvas. You should only need 10 ounces of paint plus the sides, but that's not a deep canvas. So like, I definitely had 18 ounces of paint in that big cup or the not as big cup. I just needed room to stir. So this should be enough. And I really hate this uh, <laughs> pouring out of a huge, like a huge jar. Now my I have an idea of how I want the Dutch pour to look on the big canvas, but on this one, since I'm just experimenting, I'm, I don't even know what my shape's gonna be, just like a curve probably, because I wanted it to sort of be like, oh, the, the, the type of Dutch pour where you cover up your colored paint with the base paint and then blow it out. It's different than most of the ones I do. So that's another reason you need extra base paint. So that gets a little more subtle, I'm hoping. So like I'm saying, I've watched them, people do this on YouTube hundreds of times, but I not really tried that method myself. So who knows if I know what I'm talking about. Um, torch, many, many bubbers. Ah, uh, the bubbers. Just let that sit. How should I order these? <laughs> Probably put the best gold on the top. So I think I'm gonna go dark at the bottom and light. So uh, I've got my first color is raw umber. I'm just gonna do, pretend like this is half of my big paint stain. I'm gonna do it like this. And then deco art champagne gold. I shouldn't shake that while it's open, that's dumb. And the burnt umber, that's my artist loft. Or a reddish brown. And deco art 24 karat gold. Don't be surprised. I need to make some more of that. Not a lot of that. Okay. Torch. I'm gonna add a little more white on the edge here. So I'm gonna cover it up. Maybe I should cover it up this way. That's why I'm practicing. If you don't know what you're doing, don't use your big expensive canvases. For your practice trials. Although if I don't like it, I can always paint over it. That's what I tell myself. So here's my little travel hair dryer that I always use, the flower power. So I'm gonna put the white over it and then blow it out. I'm gonna turn it this way. I think, I 
think I did. Could you tell I didn't know what I was doing? But I like, I don't think that, that turned out. This is, um, I don't need brown over there. See, I kind of like, do I like it? Because this is such a small canvas, the paint was just close to the edge and it blew off the edge, which is a nice look. But I think for my big one, I will be not getting it a close. I'll probably stop like two or three inches away from the edge so we don't lose kind of that petal shape. I think, I, you know, I really like, I don't like how this is. I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's obviously not equal. It's uh, not symmetrical, but I like this. Meh. That's a cool practice. Paints. Touch up the sides, of course. And now I will do the next painting. Move this. Okay. Here's the big one. I think I answered my question of, do I like those colors together? So let's go for it. Oh, and what I wanted to do, well, if I don't have enough paint, I'm mixing up more white. Um, punch me in. Um, commentary. I, this weekend in, has been really gray. Like it's still the summer, but it was really cloudy most of the days and I appreciate that it's not been super hot like we've had some really hot days but this weekend's like 60s and 70s which I like but it's just kind of depressing I don't know so I feel like I I'm doing this painting as therapy for how I've been feeling down or at least um unmotivated maybe I like my weekends I like to get stuff done on the weekends or at least stuff I think about during the week <laughs> and all my laundry, which isn't fun, but I like to not have dirty laundry. So anyways, uh, this painting I've been thinking about for a while. Like I, as I showed, I tried to do similar <laughs> neutral colors a while ago that didn't work out. So this is my second attempt. Or third. Torch, 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 trolls of others. And make such a mess. Now, what were my, what was my order? Okay, I should have measured this. <laughs> Oops. Right, what was I doing? Who can remember? Okay, this is like the middle, I think. And then, doesn't really matter, this way, this way. Maybe it's because I'm right-handed. And that's just how I blowing this out. Okay, what was that? The dark one, raw umber, now champagne gold. Okay. And now burnt umber, or cinnamon, I thought it was cinnamon. And, oops, I'm leaking. The other metallic 24 karat gold make lots of cells all right should I try I've got this is my old gold I'm just gonna put like a dot here and there and see if you can even tell oh. bonus surprise okay I didn't see any 
those those paints is mixed up already now oh blow over right i added more and that didn't work great <laughs> so the inside of the curves use up this white at least this is the old cursed artist loft oh, that didn't give me that many cells weird okay here goes nothing Let's see. Okay, so from this side, this is this feels like the bottom to me. Should I blow more out in the middle? I kind of wanted it more tapered in the middle, but it didn't end up that way. So what does it matter? I kind of think I want more cells there. What do you think? I blew it out a little more in the middle. Um, I think I'm gonna do um, the swirlies like I've done on my other Dutch pours recently. Kind of gives it more, um, puts all these, gets all these tendrils somewhere to go. Um, All right, I still need to touch up my sides and scrape the drips, but here's kind of the overall look. And like I said, I like this is the bottom because it's more heavy and wide, but also kind of subtle, like this white, just kind of it's really not much, but then over here, it's really heavy and we get a lot of Alex coming through there, kind of up through the middle, lots of browns, and then some cells, and then the big sploosh at the top. I kind of blew that over the edge. So, I think it's kind of cool. I might do this different in the, in the next time, because I didn't get enough white on top of it, so it kind of turned out weird, but I like other parts of it. Here are the finished dried Dutch pours on my kitchen living room floor. Let's see the big one at the bottom. If I put it in the sun, you won't be able to see the dark, but yeah, lots of metallic. Crazy, it looks like a spine. Doesn't it look like a spinal column? Maybe I should give it to my chiropractor. And the dope. All the way down. And 
here's the little one I think kind of complements it. We could do it even like, like this. Kind of goes together, I think maybe, unintentionally. <laughs> there it is.